There are some exciting things happening on Roosevelt Island. They just got their first hotel and they just got their first cocktail bar, which just so happens to be located on the roof. We're here today to check it out. It's really cool to come out to Roosevelt Island and be at its first ever hotel. Tell me a little bit about the hotel and how it came about. Yeah, I think it originally uh, was part of a plan to develop New York City as the center of tech and innovation, kind of the answer to Silicon Valley. Bloomberg was the mayor at the time and put an RFP out to the best universities in the world. Cornell won the bid to do a tech-focused graduate program. Part of that plan was to have the first hotel on Roosevelt Island and create something new for the city. So we are here on the rooftop called the Panorama Room. Tell me about the decor. Well, we were uh, fortunate enough to work with a fantastic designer called Parts and Labor Design. My business partner, Mark, and I are huge design nerds, so we were really able to execute a room that was kind of steeped in history, but was looking towards the future. We're here at the bathrooms. I think we, uh, we created a really special moment here. It's actually a portal mirror uh, that is double-sided and uh, creates a really funny insight into how people interact with each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. Getting... So this beautiful bar keeps popping up on the gram and all over the press. <laughs> it's a beautiful design. Tell me about it. I think that we were really excited about creating a moment, kind of like a lighthouse or a beacon with an incredible light fixture that you can literally see from the FDR Drive. You can see it from Long Island City. This is our beverage director, Estelle Bossi. We're really excited to introduce a very thoughtful and fun beverage program here at the Panorama Room for all those to enjoy not only the view, but this truly unique experience. Some of these cocktails play a little bit on um, cocktails from the past that we've forgotten or maybe not given the love and attention that they deserved. So this is the Dreamweaver. It's our version of a lychee martini. Here we have the Sun Ra, which is like a dressed up tequila soda. There's a blue glitter on the rim, which is electric dust. It's made from Szechuan buttons, so it makes your tongue tingle a little bit and it makes you more sensitive to other tastes. I made this specifically for you. It's the traffic report. Oh! It's, uh, <laughs> you could call it a Manhattan variation. I wish I could drink one of those every day after yeah. doing traffic, because I need one, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the 18th floor. Had you ever been this high up on Roosevelt Island? What about the views? You know, the views just offer an unprecedented vantage point. We're located in the center of the East River. You see almost every borough. The 59th Street Bridge really presents an incredible backdrop for this whole experience. I love that you can see sailboats going by, you can see the ferries, which there's a stop here. There is. There's so many ways to get here and I think you can't help but to feel the connection to water here in a different way than you do on either the Manhattan side or the Hudson River side. You definitely feel like you're on an island, which you don't when you're in Manhattan. And I think we leaned into that with a lot of our offerings. We have a raw bar, we're doing a little bit more crudos, caviar nachos, kind of leaning into that island feel. Whoa. So much flavor. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Congratulations on Panorama Room. I can't wait to come back. Thank you. Sure.